everyone, how's it going? Sasha here, and today we are doing another Aquarius podcast with Ronan from Benny's Aquatics. How are you, Hello. Ronan? Good, how are you? I'm great, thanks. So without further ado, let's dive straight into the interview. Ronan, how did you get into the fish keeping hobby? So, one day I decided I wanted to pick goldfish. I was probably nine years old and I expected to go there and get the tank and the fish on the same day. And then the people at my fish shop kind of told me that that's not how it works and I kind of had to cycle an aquarium. So I kind of, I did the cycle process and everything. And then um, I got four um, golden white cloud mountain minnows and four endless live bear, um, which I had for about two months. And then um, I had to move, so I had to get rid of the fish. And yeah, kind of went on from there about three years in the hobby. So how many tanks do you have? Um, I've got four at the moment and one pond outside. Sweet. Yeah. Um, so what fish are you currently keeping? So I've got a ram cichlid breeding tank. Um, I've got a pair of German blue rams. And then I've got a panda guppy colony thing that I'm kind of doing, which I'll sell off the fry that I grow up. And then I've got a... Close to a 10 gallon aquarium or um, 38 litres. And then I've got a five and a half gallon tank or a 21 litre tank with um, my better fish, um, Barry, who's awesome. Um, and then I've got a 76 litre or a 20 gallon aquarium community tank. Um, what's, um, I've got, what do I have in there? I've got a Brisnose Pleco, a school of Rasborus, and um, two rams and a pair of honey dwarf grammies. But my tank is kind of like fully stocked, overstocked, but with the amount of live plants, if you have a look at some of the videos of that tank, um, you can see how many live plants are in there. And after three weeks of doing no water, no water change for three weeks, and nitrate was still zero. So um, I'm kind of going for a community look, not necessarily a breeding tank for that tank. So yeah. Yeah. Love community tanks. tanks. Yeah. Always great. Always something going on if you have loads of species together. That's what I like to do. I don't like having species only tanks, so I just can't <laughs> help getting more different types of fish. It's much more interesting, my opinion. Yeah. So what is your dream fish? So what are you planning on getting in the future that's gonna be crazy? Mm, I really wanna keep a giant garami or a um, chocolate garami. They're awesome fish. Oh um, yeah, garamis in general are very cool. Yeah. But honestly, I don't really, otherwise than that, I love those fish. It's just a matter of getting a tank that's suitable for them because chocolate garamis I've heard can be a bit sensitive and giant garamis obviously get huge. Um, yeah. So, yeah, it's a matter of kind of waiting until I get the right conditions for them because I don't want to go and get the fish and just put them in a home that isn't kind of good for them. Cool. So, uh as you may know guys he has a youtube channel called benny's aquatic so ronan just kind of give us a summary of what your channel is about and what content we will usually see on it and why we should subscribe so my um channel is about the fish keeping hobby like lazarus um i do lots of videos on species um such as rams and um i also do lots of montages of my tanks um kind of just i try to make my channel have videos that can kind of relax your day but make you relax and just forget about everything um i also do a stream once a week um with lazarus but we're not doing a stream together as you guys would have known watching this premiere now he wasn't on my stream but um okay. yeah my channel is just all about the fish keeping hobby and like what my experiences and stuff cool yeah what is it that you love about fish so much Ronan? i guess a variety of different things you can keep and things you can do like yeah for example like a community tank you can have such um a variety of fish and different colors that can just make it pop and yeah it's just awesome i really um i enjoy breeding as well i find it gives you a challenge and something to work for um yeah yeah i kind of just enjoy all the fish and stuff and i just enjoy it it's relaxing as well uh, if you mm. had a busy day at school or work and you can just go chill with your fish and feed them do water changes and stuff like that yeah i love doing water changes especially while listening to music too it's always great have you ever kept any pets other than fish um yes i have a cat and a dog i've got a golden retriever that's 
10 turning 11 um and i've got just got a cat at home as well but otherwise cool. no i've really just had cats dogs and fish so they get along well <laughs> yeah yeah they do your cats don't try eat your fish um no she's never attempted actually she couldn't care less about them <laughs> it's funny because um next door they have a cat and i've seen plenty of times their cat sitting on the ledge of my pond uh <gasps> and looking into the pond and i've Looked into the pond and I've seen two missing goldfish that I really loved. I just knew it was that cat. Not all cats do that. Your cat okay. doesn't, but <laughs> no. their cat does. So annoying. But um, yeah, I just have to put lots of plants in hiding places, which I did. So it's fine yeah. now. Thank you for joining us, Ronan. I know this was a bit of a short one today. I'm in a bit of a hurry though. I've got to do lots of work now um, yeah. and fish work too. Me. So yeah. hope you enjoyed this other this new podcast um it's actually going to be the second last tomorrow we'll be premiering one more and then any collaborations from there it will just be um doing live streams together on my channel whatever so yeah thank you for I've watching actually, after this i've got to go put some honey dwarf gourmets onto my community tank so it'll be fun yes but yeah thank you so right. much for having me i really appreciate it my pleasure. It's always fun having new aquarium hobbyists in the hobby, although we're probably both new. Well, how long have you been into it for? I was nine, so, and I'm 15. Gee, six years. Oh, old. <laughs> year younger than me. I was 10. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, maybe <laughs> I was nine. Yeah, I was nine, and then I turned 10 two months after starting. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. So, um,. If you enjoyed the video, guys, please give this video a thumbs up and go check out Ronan's channel called Benny's Aquatics. I'll leave you the link below in the description and in the comments. With that being said, have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next podcast. Bye. Bye. <laughs>